Hey guys and welcome to another unboxing. Uh, today we've got some four drilled. Um, this is the all biker set, the knobs wall bikers and four drilled. Now these are some brilliant models. Just a thing before I start, before you realise it yourself. Um, four drilled actually made a little bit of an error with this set and they sent me um Ork Boys um set with it instead of the war bikers. Um but four drill customer service is really good so um they're sending me the war bikers in the post. Um so technically I've got a free squad of uh Ork Boys. So that's a that's a bit of a yay. Anyway, without further ado, we're only gonna be looking at the four drill parts anyway. So the set comes with three bikes. Three bike bases. Now this is the four drilled war boss bike base. Um, let's show you the comparison. Well, that's compared to the normal bike base. Yep, yeah, so that's the comparison. Um, and now I bought some large bases for my knobs war bikers. So they tie in a bit a little bit more. And especially for the one with the two wheels on the, the back, the tricycle one, I'll be able to fit the wheels properly on this. Give me a bit more modelling scope as well. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's show you the pieces. So, this is a really good set. It comes with three, well, enough parts to make three um, war bikes. So, sort the pieces out. Okay, so here are the pieces. Um, so we have the bodies on here. So I'll, sh I'll first show you the bodies. Now, there we go. The detail is brilliant on these. It's got like a strap and suspender type things. And like, like a dungaree type thing. Worker. A chain around the wrist, and same on this one. Let's try and get better light. There we go. Very detailed. So, lots of iconography. Now the head's really fun. It's got the goggles on it. Now, bear in mind that the set still comes with the um, the orc bodies, so you can use them for normal normal guys. This guy's a bit leaning forward a bit more. Got the arms. I think it's so much better having the arms, the hands, so they can fit over the handlebars rather than the plastic set. It's got a bit of a armed head there, bit of helmet. Lots of stitching on this. Now I'm, I'm probably going to be sculpting some like leather jackets on some of these, um, just make them a bit more individual. Now I will have more of these coming in the post probably. I'll see if I can pick up some of the bodies around and the wheels. Okay, this is very nice. I love the skull on the back and the jacket on that one's really nice. All the detail. Comes with just a, a chopper, a bit of a random weapon to include in this set. It doesn't really come with many good um, combat weapons, but as far as the other bits go, it's spot on. Uh, this is a really cool head, just a bionic bit of scrap metal all around his face. A bit of a bionic jaw there. Obviously this is resin so you're going to need to wash it up a little bit, do a bit of clean ups, but mostly it's very clean. Um, I'll show you all the bodies, yeah that's all the bodies. Okay so here we have 
the wheels. Now this is really large. Um, let's see if I can find an org wheel. Okay. It's from a wall bike set I've got at the moment. So, as you can see, <laughs> the wheels are a lot bigger. This wheel is actually split into two, with like blades in the middle. Really details, very nicely done. It also comes with a, a track for one of them. These are really nice, arrow side. Might be tempted just to put that backwards for hilarity. That's looking really nice. Um, what next? Okay, um, these are the the guards for the one that has like the tricycle. Now there's some cutting that involved um, on putting these onto the plastic wall bikes. But I'm just showing you the detail here. Very nice indeed. Love this detail. It's quite similar to the detail that's on the Cromlech stuff on those uh, the juggernauts which I showed you. Very nice. Okay, what next? I have the map. It comes with two ammo feed. Well, technically three. Just nice to have something a bit different. Some more resin pieces to put on. So I might need a little bit of bending back into shape, but very nice detail indeed. A little tiny air bubble there. That's not a problem. This one I really like. The ammo feed's all going into the same place, and then the gun fits on top of here. Get rid of that bit of flash. There we go. It's a really nice ammo box there. These have all been well thought through in the design. So it's got like a lock. Very nicely done. Oh, it's got like. Can you see that? Like a pin. Brilliant. This is uh, one of the mud guards for the front. Actually, it only comes with one, but that's not a problem. I've got lots of plastic guard if I wanted to make any more. <coughs> Very nicely done. These will actually just fit onto the, onto the sort of sides of the bike. Um, next, the handlebars. Now, there's some really nice detail on these. Really crisp and pristine. Really nice. I think these are my favourite ones. Just because of the detail on them. Be really nice to paint up. And these are really big ones. Really large set of handlebars. The gorilla type ones. Down in the front. And some of these handlebars actually have extra pieces to put on. So you've got like a little horn there, that's really cool. Very orky. And a smash light, just the detail on these. It's fantastic. Broken wires. Just the plates, the thought out really well. So that would go. Um, where is it? That would go, I'm thinking, like that on there. Um, now, this is for the tricycle. It's got a side ammo feed, and that's where the ammo feed goes. Bit of a mould line there, but not an issue. And it's the back exhaust with the spikes for the back wheels. 
and the last two pieces are, in my opinion, the coolest pieces. These are the back wheels, which the wheels go into of the existing bike, so they just fit over the top. But the detail on these is phenomenal, it's really cool. Very nice treads. The back. Just can't wait to assemble these ones. Like I said, this um, the kit does involve some cutting of the plastic pieces, but if you've worked with Forgewell before, you should be able to cope with that. Okay, so that's what the set comes with. Quite a lot of resin pieces there. Um, if you've got any questions about this, or any um, just questions about any of the last videos that I've done, um, just please. Um, comment below um, and I'll try and get back to you um, hope you've enjoyed this video um, and the next one hmm, let's think I might be showing a built video of the, the buzz gob which I bought but who knows anyway take care guys catch you later Ta